but we will explain a project of uh, communication that is really related to, uh, to the concept that you have explained uh, just right now. Uh, because uh, we have made a, an environment, like an environment storytelling, two uh, immersive uh, experiences, and we have uh, made a, um, uh, a communication strategy that uh, can uh, transmit uh, the information of the past uh, by this uh, immersive, uh, uh, immersive experiences. Uh, we, we have worked with an archaeological uh, team in the Iberian town of Yastret uh, here. Uh, it's, uh, it was about 6,000 people population, it's a big city. And uh, one of the key concepts was uh, avoid the, the old concept of uh, little villages uh, in front of the new knowledge uh, for the, that has been come from the last 10 years of uh, archaeological uh, research. Uh, and we have a, a new concept of a really big city uh, that we must uh, pass to the public, to the general public. We, working with the archaeological team, we, we try to, to do something that uh, could arrive uh, to anyone. And uh, the method uh, chosen was an uh, immersive uh, experience, an uh, immersive room, you will see it. Uh, uh, and we worked uh, not with the uh, Common archaeological or architectural reconstruction uh, software, but with video game uh, creation software in this case, on the other engine. Uh, and uh, talking about media, we have the traditional media like projection, web, audio guide, museum, booklet guide, uh, and the new media, uh, the work with uh, social networks and the two immersive experiences that we, we have proposed. That is a VR experience and an immersive <coughs> In the same uh, uh, old uh, settlement of Ullestret, there is a little museum, and we have uh, built there in the museum an immersive room. It's little four by four meters, something like that. It's up to six, seven visitors. Uh, you will see after that uh, the video that we that we were showing. But we are not talking about uh, how we make this experience, but the communication strategy. Uh, the VR experience, immersive room. We have made two uh, uh, spreading the content on week, very young flicker on YouTube, pressures on leaflets, cultural touristic events and congresses. And the new approach is uh, science-based storytelling. We have two goals. One is scientific rework, and the second one is uh, create a compelling story that can arrive not only to the brain, but also to the heart and soul of the, of the people who is seeing them. Uh, this is made by two main lists. Two main lists of objects, places, and events. One list is about general topics, like life, death, woman, love, childhood, hate. A list of events, objects, or places, concrete, uh, specific places, uh, from this settlement that can be related to this. <coughs> the second one is of scientific topics like social life, architecture, urbanism, transport, agricultural work, technology, history, technology, mm, whatever has potential to be transmitted. These two lists that are made by the scientific team uh, of objects, spaces, and events in the Ujes uh, case uh, ended in smells, animals, children, roofs, city walls, gates, airborne, bone, fields, all these events or objects has the potential to be interesting to the public and to be scientific based. In the video. And with all these elements, the script writers are free 
to make a story, but a story that will be made on scientific rigor and that can be uh, explaining a lot of things and not free to the to the novel. Puede pasar el vídeo. A ver ahora. The howl of a wolf. Uh, this is in the immersive room. You are in a in a little room with three okay, uh, with three uh, screens around you. This is the central screen. You will see a little set of uh, two minutes. <laughs> of all the experience, <laughs> yeah, uh, with all the concepts uh, highlighted uh, from that list that you have seen. The VR experience that we have in the fourth floor, uh, you can uh, choose uh, to, to say in, in these three days you, you can uh, test it, uh, uh, is the same script but adapted to the new media. You can, you can move freely inside this, uh, this story but it's the same script. And then, the cry of the grey spectre, the grey heron, the bird on the lagoon. Its wings dissipate the mist. That's how my dream begins. Always the same dream. What mysterious force moves the boat on the water? Where am I going? The breath of the god of the great white mountain takes the boat towards the town on the hill. Indica. Suddenly I find myself before the town gates with the great moat around the wall. I see the woods, the pastures and the fields. I'm in my town on an ordinary street. I'm home. I smell the aroma of the fresh milk and the dust of the grain being threshed. My older brother's head is nailed to the door over his shield. I'll never be able to efface that terrible image from my childhood. Decapitated heads of the defeated. Trophies that terrorized my nights as a child. As a child fallen into misfortune. Hostage of a rival group. In this courtyard, I learned to fight, to grip a sword until my arm became strong, and I could run through an enemy with a single thrust. A house that never lacked anything, with amphoras and jars, always filled with food and drink. In a corner, the flame of a lamp lighting up the figure of a god. <sighs> the gods! They've abandoned us. My arm was strong, but not strong enough to stop the advance of the sons of Rome. I see what had been my town, high on the hill, and on the island in the lagoon, desolate and empty, without a soul. Indica! what you will see in the fourth floor if you, if you will come. But uh, it has uh, proven uh, really compelling for the general visitor. And they don't know that they are learning, but they are learning a lot. <laughs> if, if you ask um, uh, if it's educational, they say no. But they have learned a lot of things about the, about the whole city of Wittes. Thank you very much.